In this video we're going to see how to evaluate an algebraic expression and we'll be using the methodology that's provided in the notes. All right, so uh, the first example is going to be 4 times the quantity m minus n minus 5 times the quantity n minus m. So algebraic expression because we have variables there and we're evaluating it because we know the values for those variables. So pretty simple, we're just going to replace the letters with the numbers that were given and then simplify using the order of operations. Now, sometimes you can just replace each letter with a number, like just replace M with 11, uh, but sometimes you need to put them in parentheses before you substitute them in. Uh, the examples are when you have negative numbers, fractions, or when the variable is being multiplied um, immediately to another variable or number. So in this case, the n is negative, and so it's a good idea, instead of writing minus minus 8, to write minus uh, negative 8 in parentheses when you substitute that in. Uh, similarly, we're going to go ahead and replace n with negative 8 in parentheses there. And because m is just a positive number, it's okay usually just to replace that with the value 11. Okay, So now it's arithmetic. Right? So that's the evaluation part. We substitute it in, and now we have an arithmetic expression and so it just follows the order of operations. All right, so according to order of operations, first thing we do is parentheses or other grouping symbols. And that would tell us that we need to simplify what's in parentheses here before we do anything else. Okay, so uh, for instance, the 11 minus negative 8, that's equivalent to 11 plus 8, and the negative 8 minus 11 can actually be written without parentheses as well. All right, now we can actually go ahead and do those additions and subtractions. So 11 plus 8 is 19, and negative 8 minus 11 is negative 19. All right, that's the first step in order of operations. There's no exponents, so we can skip ahead to multiplication and division. There is multiplication in this, and we should do that before the subtraction that you see. So we're going to go left to right and go ahead and multiply. The first thing we have is 4 times 19. So 4 times 19, and that's 76. And the next thing we do is negative 5 times negative 19. And that is 95, positive 95. Right. Right. And the last thing is just to add 76 and 95. And we should get our answer of 171. All right. So try the next example here. It's a little more complicated. We have a fraction and the numerator is pi times r squared. The denominator is square root of 2rs. So again, our first step is to replace the variables or the unknown numbers with the known values. So in this case, we're going to replace the r with a 5. And since these variables are multiplied, we need to put those numbers in parentheses. And so we then get that. Now we're going to simplify using the order of operations. And the order of operations tells us to work within parentheses first, there's some implied parentheses. Remember in fractions there's a implied parentheses around the numerator and around the denominator. There's also implied parentheses around the inside of a radical, the radicand. And with these large fractions we do is simplify the entire numerator, then simplify the entire denominator, and then at the very end we do that division. All right, so let's just look at the numerator 
for now. In the numerator, we have pi times 5 squared. And we would do the exponent before we would multiply, because exponents come before multiplication. And uh, the exponent 5 with the exponent of 2 is just 25. Right. And we want to leave these exact, so we're actually just going to leave it as 25 times pi. Though you could approximate that with the calculator if you wanted. All right, now for the denominator, we're going to do inside the radical first, right? Because we have nested parentheses, so you work from the inside out. And you have this multiplication of 2 and 5 and 3. We can do that all at once. 2 times 5 is 10, times 3 is 30. Now, square root of 30 is an irrational number, so much like pi, to leave it exact, we'll just leave it as square root of 30. But you could approximate that with the calculator if you wanted to. All right, so you get an approximation with the calculator. We do 25 uh, times pi divided by square root of 30. So that's about 14.34. And that's it.